totally take a beer. Oh, okay, yeah. Totally. Take a beer, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. That, yeah. that is Please. killer. Boy. Greetings, Fright Nights and Monster Girls. It's your old pal, Count Dracula, the Black Dracula. And here we are at Days of the Dead uh, in Burbank, California, with uh, Felicia Rose, who you probably remember as uh, being in Sleepaway Camp. Yes, yes, yes. And its wonderfully beautiful, infamous ending. Oh my God, she's a boy. My penis? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. It was all about my deck. It was. It really was. I think, I feel like that scene inspired the, the crying game with Jay Davis. They, they did steal that, I would have to say. I feel like they at least stole the shot. A little bit. Yeah. Oh, it's all good. You know what? It's the highest form of flattery. Absolutely. So I have to ask, did you know that going in? I did. I had read the script. And I thought it was fascinating. And obviously the ending took me by surprise, but it was so cool and provocative for that time. So yeah, I thought it was, it was going to be incredibly fun. Yes, the whole movie really did uh, prey on the, uh, the, un, the, uh, the homophobia of the age. Yes, in order to get its terror. And uh, one of the things I liked about it was that it felt like the, the audience was really the one being exploited in that one. It's great. It's so true. I think so. I think, uh, you know, it's shocking nature and it's kind of um, homoerotic undertone definitely took people by surprise and was uh, pushing all kinds of boundaries with the audience for 1982, 1983. Yes, absolutely. And I think the, uh, the sexuality of a lot of young boys was extremely confused, which I think also uh, Lee had led to the, uh, the homosexual acceptance of the 90s and post-2000s. So I'll trailblazing here. Uh, that is a good idea. Take all of it. You may have it. Thank it's you. yours. <laughs> now, earlier, your uh, young girls were here, and apparently they are also following in your footsteps. They are, yes. They're young horror actresses with quite you know, amazing resumes for their ages. They're nine and 10. Tales of Halloween, they're in a new Slayer video. They've done- Ooh, Slayer video. Still mostly, I'm giving away some secrets, but uh, might appear with them in something. They've worked with incredible people, so lucky girls. Yeah. I was uh, particularly happy that um, much like you, your little girl starts out playing a killer. Yeah, that's right. In Tales of Halloween, she comes out with that axe, and she loved it. She was like, can we do another take? I'm like, yes, with the prosthetic. <laughs> it, was, it was good fun. It was, it was nice, wholesome Disney fun. <laughs> that's right. That, that is really the way it should be. Yeah, they say the family that slays together stays together. It's true. Yes, I agree. It was it was such a great movie. I love Tales of Halloween, and the fact that my daughter has like this terrific role was just uh, amazing to me. Oh, well, thank thank you very much. Is there anything else you would like to say to the audience out there? Oh my gosh, I just I have so much gratitude and thanks for like the entire horror community. We're one big family, and just thanks for. Loving Sleepaway Camp and look out for some other cool things like we're getting ready for Death House. Yes, and I have to say, like, from the order community to you, you provided us with the one thing we are always looking for, which is you blew our minds. Thank you. Fuck you.